so far. He's got a great nickname. Yeah. He's got the flash. Great grill. He's from Detroit. Yeah. Well, you got to take the grill out. We don't do that in a D. Okay. Sorry. Well, uh, it's, you know, nice, bright yeah. smile. What does he bring, though, on the field? A swagger, an attitude. Listen, you don't, make it, you don't make it out of Detroit unless <laughs> you are tough and built to last. Just think about all the athletes you know from, the, from Detroit. Myself, Chris Jenkins. You can go with Jalen Rose, Magic Johnson. Like, everybody has a bit of personality because you have to stand out. That's the only way you get out of Detroit. And he's got that from the east side of Detroit. He has that dog in him. When you talk about juice, you, when you talk When you much say you dog talk, in him because you heard Corey Davis, yeah. you heard this, what do you mean by that? I am not afraid of anything. You know what I had to do to get here. You know what I had to come from. You know the things that I've seen. So when you come here, this is a guy that has tremendous character, tremendous football character. He's not going to back down from anybody. He's not going to be intimidated. We're not built like that in Detroit. We are ready for all the smoke. We climbed up the chimney looking for the smoke because when we get the smoke, we know that we're going to get the recognition that we deserve. We're all a little bit, you know, jaded from Detroit, feeling like we don't get the credit that we deserve. So when you come here, we're going to say what we're going to do, and we're going to go out and execute it. You're going to have to kill us to make us, you know, believe different. And you also hear about his work ethic, and you see this. Oh, you going what he works on and off the field. All right, so what's the biggest difference from being a corner in college? Because you heard he never gave up a touchdown yeah. to the NFL. Because well, obviously that's not going to happen. Yeah, but a lot of these guys that he's going to be going against, he would have went against in college. And, you know, the, the quickest thing you have to do is understand that, listen, this is the same. It's a little faster, and you have to be a professional. This is your job. You have to study your opponents a little bit more. But these are, these are your peers, and you have to understand that, okay, it's going to be tough, and it's going to be some growing pains, but I'm going to learn from my mistakes. And the things that you get me with today, you won't get on me tomorrow. You have to start plugging up the holes like we all have to do. We all come here with flaws and holes in our game. But if he lives up to half the expectations that, that we've laid on him, then the Jets defense is going to be returned to its dominance because they're going to be able to dictate coverages and be able to add people to the box to take away things that other teams can't take away because they have the benefit of having a lockdown corner. It's not a lot of lockdown corners in this league anymore. I can maybe name 10. And if this guy is going to sin and he's going to be that guy, for this team, then they're going to be in a good place. It's going to be a peninsula at first, right? Yeah, we got to start with a peninsula first.